Okay, so let's talk about Aleister Crowley, the gentleman pictured right here. Now, you may have heard of him, and you may have heard of his famous catchphrase, but if not, let me refresh you real quick. The book of the law states, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Did you catch that? The book of the law states that do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. So that's why you see this catchphrase, do what thou wilt, do what thou wilt everywhere. Of course, it's on Jay-Z's sweater. And yes, the Beatles were proponents of that and they were big fans of him. They put him on the album cover. And so, you know, this is not some random philosophy, you know, that some wacko came up with. This is something that's coming from a person that is connected to all the agencies of power, right? They have the power to make this philosophy and send it out to the masses through their media, through their rock stars, through their movie stars, right? Here's another one. This guy, Ab Sol, right? So the, you, you see the generations. Here's John Lennon. Then you got Jay-Z. Now here comes Ab Sol. And there's many, many more, of course. They're all part of it. It's This is the religion that they claim homage to. And... Why, how do I know that? Because look how much advertising goes into it. You know, rule of thumb, when something is advertised to you this much, over and over and over, drummed into your head, do what thou wilt, do what thou wilt. First of all, that's obviously something that the programmers who are repeating it want you to, <laughs> to do. That's not something, you know, because a lot of people have this concept that do what thou wilt is, or Satanism, quote unquote, Satanism are these rebellious things. You're rebelling against the system. But that's not the case because you can see through the system's media outlets that they promote this and they promote it over and over and over. So the question is that I want to pose to you is do you know what? The opposite of this is, do you know what the opposite of do what thou wilt is, right? We understand why do what thou wilt is wrong because it's basically a call to do unethical things. And anyone who says it isn't does not know what, what this is really about. So yeah, the question I want to pose to you is, do you know what the opposite of do what thou wilt is, right? Here's the philosophy that they want us to have here's the philosophy that's crammed down our throats what is the opposition to this philosophy well you might say that it's the golden rule do unto others as you would have them do unto you which is an expression of ethics and I would agree with that to some extent but I think that Russell Means says it so much better so just listen to what Russell says here, because to me, this is the true opposition to Crowley's destructive, self-destructive, selfish, unsustainable philosophy. Definition. Definition of being free. You're free to be responsible. The first axiom, you're free to be responsible. The first axiom of being free is you're free to be responsible. Do you see how that's the opposite of what Crowley said? Where Crowley's whole concept is supposedly about freedom, right? He's saying humanity is oppressed we're held down by these false religious morals. We must be free to do what we want to do, right? Religion was our original brainwashing, but at the same time, they were brainwashing us to be evil by destroying the environment, fighting these wars, and just ingesting this philosophy, believing in, in the whole lie, believing in the great lie of their civilization. So that's what this quote from Alistair means. Do what thou wilt is to bid stars to shine, vines to bear grapes. Man is the only being in nature that has striven to set himself at odds with himself. And that is the old, you know, the satanic thing which is repeated over and over again. You know, why hold yourself back from doing what you want to do? You want to do evil. 
We've already programmed you to do evil. We've created a society that encourages you to do evil, pays you to do evil, does not pay you well when you do good. So by all means, do what thou wilt. We've created a society where you're going to do evil when you do what you will. There's no other way. Because nothing in our society is about the preservation of nature. It's all about the destruction. And that's why this quote about, you know, his philosophy as being natural is, is so ironic and it's so deceptive. You know, it's, it's a lie. Because these people despise nature. They want to destroy nature. You know, some of these people out here, some of these, you know, religious fanatics will say, you know, oh, my God, nature is Luciferian. You know, <laughs> duality is Luciferian. Male and female is Luciferian. What? No, this stuff is Luciferian. The city is Luciferian. The forest is good. The forest is pure and beautiful. So don't ever get that twisted and let these liars and these religious nuts tell you that nature is evil. Because they may use nature and they may pretend to love nature and that their religions are about nature, but through their actions you can see that they despise nature. Pollution in the skies, pollution in the water, the forest cut down, burned down. So don't tell me that these people are nature lovers, Alistair Crowley and the gang. That is one of the greatest lies of all. This guy is a nature lover, Russell Means. And that's what he's telling you that you're not really free when you do what Crowley does, is telling you to do. You're not really free when you do it irresponsibly. Right? That's not freedom. You're just destroying yourself and calling it freedom. But real freedom is ethical. Real freedom is sustainable. The real free people are the hunter-gatherers. They're the ones who don't go by any laws. They're the ones who don't go by false religions that are forced on them at gunpoint. False languages that are forced on them. False politics that are forced on them. All those things that they have, no matter what you think of them, that comes from their own society. And they have the ability to change it if they want to. They're the free people. That's what Russell's talking about, free to be responsible. You know, when I talk to people about this, especially educated people, <laughs> you see this hate start to come in their eyes. They, they want to believe that native, you know, hunter-gatherers were just these, like, savages, just, like, ripping each other to shreds, always warring and fighting. You know, they, they, they so want to believe that. They so want to believe the lie of the oppressor that broke every treaty with these people. People that were honorable, that honored their treaties with each other. Th these people came in and broke every treaty, destroyed the land. And yet, the people who are educated in our society think that those are the good people. That's progress. And they're willing to believe the lie that hunter-gatherers were a bunch of savage lunatics. Their philosophy was one of sustainability freedom to be responsible and that ours is one of destruction a cancer that goes around and just eats everything cuts down all the trees kills all the animals saves a few animals put them in pens and breed them like slaves so we can eat them that's what our culture does that's what this philosophy really is do what thou wilt do what do whatever you want to whoever you want it's unsustainable that's why civilization never lasts that long. And that is perhaps why they promote this philosophy to us. They want us to be like this. They want us to be self-destructive. They want us to be nihilistic. They want us to be polluters. Eat your trash and throw it right out the window while you drive. They want us to do those things. Why? That I can't entirely answer. But they do not want this. They do not want us free to be responsible. Right? Freedom to be responsible goes back to 
everything that everyone says, why you need laws, why you need police, why you need all these, all these oppressive things. We got to have laws. We got to have police. We got to have religion or people are going to just kill each other. These people didn't have those things. And look what the philosophy they had was. Freedom to be responsible. That's really what happens when you take away the cops, when you take away the state, when you take away the, the militaries and the murder squads, when you take away the laws, you take away the lies, you take away the religions, you take away the false ideologies, you take away the, the controller languages. And what happens when you take away all those things? Does everyone go, oh, kill each other? No, this is what happens. We start becoming human beings again. We start learning how to be responsible again. We start learning how to be sustainable again. And no matter what you think of Native Americans or any other hunter-gatherer community, you cannot argue that they are not sustainable. And at the same time, you cannot argue that our civilization is on a crash course with total destruction. Because everybody's me, 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 me. Sound familiar? Who the hell cares that we're wiping out the environment? Who the hell cares that all these species are going extinct in the greatest extinction since the dinosaurs? Who the hell cares when I gotta pay my bills, I gotta feed my family, I gotta put gas in my car, you see what do what thou wilt does in our society? All your outlets to do anything are evil. So they know you're going to do evil when they say do what thou wilt. Because they already set it up that way. They set it up so you can't have responsibility. <clears throat> they don't want responsible people. They don't want sustainable people. They don't want ethical people. They need unethical people who are hedonistic, who are willing to commit atrocities for a paycheck and some pills and some drugs and some sex. And that's what they have. That's what the technocracy is. You see, they think that they're the smart ones and the wise ones, the same people who've destroyed our planet because they've fully internalized the philosophy of do what thou wilt. Of me, 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 me. You can just call it that. Me, 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 me. And I was raised in this society. So I internalized it. And I see it in everyone else too. We're all like this to some extent. If you were raised in this country, in this culture. You were raised by Aleister Crowley. Your, your little story time Muppets that you grew up with, Jim Henson, Aleister Crowley. Star Wars, Aleister Crowley. We've been influenced by this man since we were in Pampers. How many of us even really realize that? And who's the one that you've never even heard of before? Because the truth will be silenced. Because the truth isn't fun. The truth isn't, oh, take drugs and have fun. Do what thou wilt. You'll find an enlightenment. Enlightenment is the complete lack of ethics. Right? That's what they want you to believe. Enlightenment is the complete lack of ethics. And that's why we live in a society, a civilization that is spiraling towards total self-destruction. <clears throat> so now you know the antidote to do what thou wilt is freedom to be responsible don't chante my friends don't chante <laughs>